Yeah, the automation systems in, 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 the, in the crane industry are continually uh, improving as years go on with new technologies coming out in the sensor areas that we're seeing from the automotive industry. And then just as computer systems become faster, stronger, and better, we're applying those uh, technologies into the crane systems and automation systems we provide. Yeah, the t uh, business, we're based uh, on power electronics is our base core uh, technology and then our robust automation systems on top. So the common thread is the power electronics, the power equipment, and then the automation. And we're sharing our technology across the different industries. We're in the metals industry, paper, oil and gas, and in the uh, renewable areas, especially in battery storage and solar systems that uh, we're working in right now. The innovations we've been rolling out has been the, the process automation, the ability to, to move the containers, to land the containers without operator having to get engaged. And that allows the operator to spend more time focusing on the, uh, the interventions where there's abnormal conditions. So we allow the operator to spend 90% of their time just focusing on manual interventions when there's abnormal conditions. The technologies we've rolled out is we've moved some of our metals technology into our port crane systems. In the metals technology, we have uh, process models that calculate and preset the machinery to run the facility to produce the highest yield and highest quality steel. And inside those, uh, in that technology is algorithms from automatic learning. We've taken those auto learning functions and algorithms and put them into our crane systems now so that the algorithms in the crane systems could learn from the changing of the environment around them and to provide you know, reliable operations in, in different conditions. What we've done, we set up a research and development team at T-Mike so that we can move the technologies between our groups. In the past, we had different product line segments with different owners of those product line segments with different engineering teams. Now we've moved a group of those engineers into a, a research and development team, more on the development side, to cross-pollinate that technology between the groups. So what's being done in our paper industry, there's a person on in the paper industry and a development team, and he's trying to tr you know, cross-pollinate some of the things they've learned and some of the, uh, the algorithms they have there to see how it could be applied in different tech industry segments. The innovations we're looking at at T-Mike is, is continually to push the automatic stacking cranes to get higher efficiencies and higher throughput on those. Uh, we're rolling out some new technology this year for the automatic landing on the land side with the uh, truckers coming in. And we've found out working in a global environment that truck beds are completely different all around the world. And even in some regions, they could be up to 100 to 150 different type of truck beds. So we have to design a technology to, to analyze those truck beds and to land the containers without any manual intervention. And then on the key crane side, we're looking at remote operated key uh, cranes. And we're also looking at now with the larger cranes, higher cranes, improving our algorithms for anti-sway and anti-skew control and then also the multiple handling of, handling of multiple containers and putting the algorithms around those new larger cranes.